Welcome to our tutorial about line weight. When we put our drawing to paper, it's a good idea to have different line thicknesses for lines that represent different features such as parts, center lines, hidden lines, dimensions, etc. Often your printing will be in black and white, and this makes it a lot easier to distinguish between the geometry and the other parts of your work. Let's learn how to take care of this. Let's go to Options, User Preferences, Line Weight Settings, Units, I'm in millimeters, and the default thickness is 0.25 millimeters. If you want to switch to inches, go for it, but for me personally, I'm more used to millimeters. I'm more comfortable with this, so I'm going to leave it as is. So this set up as it suits you. Let's cancel out of this dialog window. And cancel out of this dialog window. Now I'm going to open the Layers Properties palette. As you see, the line weight is set up to default. Again, that's 0.25 millimeters. Let's change that. For the part layer, I'm going to use something more thick, let's say one millimeter. OK. And for the dimension layer, 0.35. OK. From our previous tutorial on this model, you may remember that we've got two dimension layers. So let's switch the other as well so they match, 0.35. Center lines, 0.5. OK, and let's close. First, let's go back to model space. We can see the line thickness here as well. We just need to switch on the Show or Hide Line Thickness button. And as you can see, our lines have different thickness. Looks like I went too heavy on the part lines, but for demonstration purposes, it works just fine. And let's hide the line weight display, just toggle it off in the status bar. Now let's go to Layout 2, right click and select Plot. Let's click Preview. Actually, let's switch to Monochrome first. And click Preview again. And now our print preview does look much better. Let's right click and exit. This concludes our tutorial about line weight.